He's not real, but at the same time. He's fictional. Yeah, that's true. Right. Uh, watching some storms this morning. Forming in central Nebraska, now kind of working their way into eastern Nebraska, but trekking south southeast. So all of these very likely to stay well west of the metro. In fact, we might not even see many clouds out of this. Some are trying to stretch across parts of I-80 here nearing the Omaha metro, but really just thin cloud cover out ahead of this system. Nothing severe, but there are some stronger storms embedded in this line. Certainly some heavy rain. There is an isolated hail threat, but really not much in the way of wind. Also frequent lightning uh, with those storms. Now, this is just round one of storms for today. So there's this warm front kind of draped over the area. And that will be the focus for more developing thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. And with some heating, some instability generated during the daytime by late afternoon and evening, we have the ingredients in place to see some severe weather with really all modes of severe weather possible, especially in northeast Nebraska and parts of western Iowa, north of the Omaha metro, is where we'll really watch out for maybe an isolated tornado, but even that hail and wind threat reaches into the Omaha metro for this afternoon and evening. So mostly clear outside, 71 degrees, calm winds, so decently tranquil, but a bit on the muggy side with those dew points in the mid to upper 60s. It's 69 in Sioux Falls, O'Neill 72 in Pier. Actually, very uniform temperatures right now across the region. So it's very hard for the moment anyway to kind of pick out where that warm front is, but it is kind of just set up across the KETV viewing area. We're mostly clear here on Storm Predictor. That's through noon, but by early this afternoon, we'll start to see some showers and storms develop to the west and the northwest, and they will quickly push through here. There's the complex of storms. Nice line going here. That's 5 o'clock right through the Omaha metro. But if we're going to see maybe an isolated supercell somewhere, more likely in northeast Nebraska and western Iowa, that would be more of the tornado threat than the hail and wind threat. I think we're pretty quiet as we head into this evening. We could see an early shower or storm around 9, 10 o'clock. Those would be weaker, though, after the main system rolls through. Sunday, mainly sunny, but I think by late after we watch out for an isolated shower storm, mainly south of the metro. Not too much going on there. Very hot tomorrow, though. We'll be in the mid 90s. So here's how it shakes out with the severe threat today. Slight risk really across most of the plains here and taking up all of the KETV viewing area except for far southeast Nebraska. Hail, wind, and an isolated tornado. All possibilities, especially north and northeast of the Omaha metro. Here's your seven-day forecast. Very hot through the weekend, but a little shift in the pattern here by the middle of next week, and we see a decent cool down. However, Kind of an unsettled flow. So, another chance of showers and storms Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but highs in the lower 80s, trying to clear out by Friday. And remember to download the KTV Weather Now app for your iPhone or Android devices. It will issue alerts based on your location. There's also interactive radar and a lightning detector to let you know when the threat is nearby. That app is totally free. And could come in handy today when you're keeping such a close eye on the weather. Yeah, certainly today, but really most of the upcoming week. Okay.